What's up my friends? Welcome to another video. I'm Rob Stewart and I'm here to help you get your skin and your overall health back on track. In today's video, I want to talk to you guys about exfoliating the skin, removing the dead skin, um, what to do about the buildup when you have eczema, dermatitis, psoriasis, and rosacea. What should you do with it? Should you remove the dead skin? Should you leave it on? Um, I wanna get into that in today's video. I wanna share with you guys the techniques that I used to use to exfoliate and my philosophy behind if you should remove the dead skin or not. So stay tuned and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Okay, so first off, I use some super, super basic tools back in the day when I was still suffering from eczema and dermatitis and psoriasis. My recovery process was really challenging. The first six months, I was flaking and my skin was oozing and it was just a cycle of craziness. The areas of my body that were by far the worst were my mustache, my beard, my sternum, my elbows, and my scalp. I had it in other areas, but those were the areas that kind of bugged me the most. And I had the hardest time um, exfoliating and removing the dead skin. So basically, I use three different tools for my dead skin removal purposes. Tool number one, and every one of you guys should have this in your repertoire already, but it's a dry brush. They come in lots of different sizes. Um, they are very, very... Uh, affordable and they're very very good what you do with the dry brush um, is you want to exfoliate the entire body with the dry brush every single day not just the areas that are flared up um, with this dry brush you want to be ultra gentle on the areas that are flared up and you may want to use something else but as a daily practice you should definitely do dry brushing check out my old dry brush video I go through the entire routine but you have to look at the organ of the skin as one elimination channel. So if you're exfoliating your knees, um, that means that your shoulders are also getting exfoliated in a certain way. What I'm trying to say is the body is one big unit. So make sure that you're opening up all the pathways of elimination when you're using a dry brush. Sorry about the ramp. But the way that I use the dry brush is I just use soft circular motions over the areas that are most affected. And I slowly and not aggressively at all will dry brush over those areas just like I am on my arm as if I was having a flare up uh, on my arm. Just nice and gentle, nice and easy, and just not going too hard, but really covering the whole arm. Um, you just want to be gentle with the dry brush. And again, remember to use it on the entire body to aid in lymph circulation, blood circulation, and to gently exfoliate the skin, open up the pathways of elimination so that when you're doing your cleansing work, the toxins have a place to actually leave. This is a really important part of you know the removal of the dead skin process. So dry brushing, that's one of my favorite tools for doing that. Secondly, I use just a good old fashioned, old school barber brush. And the places that I use this would be in my scalp, in my mustache, and on my beard, and in, even in different little flaky spots that would pop up on my sternum. And how I would use this thing is I would run it through my beard nice and gentle, and I would find those little pieces of flakes that were already kind of up and ready to be removed. Not the ones that were really like scabby or stuck to the skin, but the ones that were just ready to be removed. They were like dandruff all up in here. And I just gent I gently brush out my beard and all the flakes would fall into the sink and wash them away. I do the same thing on my scalp. My method for removing the dead skin is this. If I have to work hard to get the skin off of my, my face, or my elbow or whatever, and it actually, when I pull it off, it feels like a scab. It tears the skin, it rips the skin, it bleeds, it opens. Then generally for me, I will not remove that skin. But if the skin is just dead and flaking up and building up, and it takes a little bit of work or a little bit of the comb working up underneath to get off those flakes, and then when they come off, maybe it's a little bit red or a little bit sensitive, that was okay for me. 
Um, you guys all have to make your personal decision on how much you want to exfoliate and how much you want to remove the dead skin. And you got to make your own mind up on how aggressive you'll be with it. Because one thing you do want to avoid is being too aggressive with your um, dead skin removal and opening up big wounds and causing bacterial and infections. Um, we want to avoid that. So don't be overly aggressive and be sure to, you know, just make sure you're not going too hard on your skin. What worked for me was I was fine with having my skin slightly red and irritated, but I hated the feeling and I hated the way it looked to have that huge buildup everywhere. Um, for me personally, I was just more embarrassed of the buildup. So I removed the buildup and I used products like aloe, tea tree oil, coconut oil, jojoba oil, um, even a little oregano oil on different parts of my skin to make sure that the bacterial or other types of infections never showed up. So, note to self, this comb can do some damage, be gentle with it, and make sure you're not going too aggressively. All right, moving on to my third and final way of exfoliating the skin um, is a really, really soft towel. This is actually like a hair towel and it's a synthetic um, blend. It feels great on my skin. This thing saved my life. The way I would use this one is I use little circular motions on my scalp, on my head, on my temples, on the places um, where I used to have big flare-ups on both sides of my nose, on my neck right here. I used to get blisters, huge blisters here, and I could work this into them. On my sternum, this thing felt really good. So the areas that you need to remove the dead skin that are the most sensitive, you can use an ultra soft 100% cotton or some type of um, fiber that feels good on your skin. Um, make sure it's soft. Again, make sure you're not going too hard. Um, one last trick for you guys. Um, you can also, a lot of people sometimes will dry brush and the areas that are ultra sensitive on their skin, instead of using the dry brush on them, you can wrap a towel around the dry brush like so and make it, boom, you dry brush with a towel on there. So. That is my experience, that is my perspective, that is what I used to do to remove the skin. Um, that's what I tell my clients to do. It's kind of a personal thing, but I think it's better to exfoliate gently as much as you possibly can so that the, the pores don't get clogged up and stop the detox from happening. If you got a buildup of dead skin on your body and it's not leaving, it's stuck there, it's gonna cause just a lot of um, weird things to happen within the surface of the skin. Um, blocking the exfoliation process, blocking the circulation process, um, not allowing the pathways of elimination to happen. Um, you know, the toxins leave through sweat, it leaves through your lymphatic system big time. Um, and if that's blocked up, it's just gonna recirculate the toxins back into the skin and it's not gonna go anywhere, so you're just kinda spinning your wheels. I really don't want you guys to spin your wheels. Um, here's the bottom line, guys. If you focus on a really healthy diet, you make sure you're doing the cleanses, and you use these little tips and tricks, and you stay consistent with this long enough, the skin will heal. I know it's an absolutely hard journey, I know it's rough. I go through the journey every single day of my life because I work with you guys one-on-one -on -one while you guys go through this process. So I know your pain, I lived it, I was there. Here's what to focus on. Focus on the treatments, focus on the solution. Focus on doing the things that bring you closer to awesome health. The healthier you are, the more holistically healthy you are, the faster your skin is going to heal. Um, if you guys have questions, please leave them down below. Um, if you're new to this channel, remember to subscribe and share and make sure you guys have all hit that notification bell. If you're looking to get a hold of me to become a private client, to have me guide you through this process, I'd be more than happy to do that. There's a link in the description for that. And last but not least, hit me up on the good old Instagram. I'm putting up a lot of information, videos. Actually, I put my videos up here. but putting up pictures of food, recipes, lifestyle tips, and generally just trying to create another community for you guys so that we can get more information out to you. Um, anyway, have a blessed, awesome week, and much love. I'll be back with many more videos really soon. Peace.